I sometimes think that social media is like the biggest closet in the world. We're all aware of these things, but as people, we, we feel that we can't really do anything. Do you think that people can do anything? Of course. What can we do? Public pressure, which makes a substantial difference. Mm -hmm. And we have plenty of evidence for that. Yeah. So, for example, take the Pentagon Papers. The very interesting part of the Pentagon Papers is the very last part. Uh, the Pentagon Papers record ends in mid-1968. Uh, the coverage of the last few months is very revealing about exactly the question that you're raising. Uh, the Tet Offensive took place in January 68. It convinced the American military, the so-called wise men, the advisors, that the war wasn't worth fighting anymore. But nevertheless, the president and the uh, the military did want to send another couple hundred thousand troops there. The uh, Joint Chiefs of Staff objected. They said that if we send more troops there, we'll have a shortage of forces in the United States where we'll need them for civic disorder control because there's going to be an uprising among people who are infuriated about the war. Uh, the young people, women, uh, minorities, this huge opposition to the war. So we'll need the troops here to keep order. So therefore, uh, we can't send them. Well, you know, it's a pretty graphic illustration of what a completely nonviolent public protest can affect. 